Bubba. And that's what we come to look at is the antlers growing. And when you look at that, these deer are just absolutely, they're just putting it on from week to week amazingly. And uh, I think, remember, Whitey is tagged incorrectly. Patsy told me he tagged the, the last girl incorrectly. Uh, he's got that deer right there tagged in his left ear. It's be in his right ear. That is Whitey. It's his second horns, his second antlers. But when you look how large they are, I mean, just I'm absolutely, and they're still getting bigger and they're still adding points. And now they're beginning to add length and width. And, and, and uh, the circumference are getting bigger around. They're adding mass to them. Look how strong and healthy he is, how big and beautiful. These deer get all the South Fresh deer food they want to eat. They're incredibly healthy, incredibly beautiful. And uh, I'm zoomed out, I know the camera work is not great, but we came to look at beautiful antlers. We've done it critique Jimmy's beautiful camera work. But if you'll start counting those points, you'll find that he's probably going to have uh, double digits on both sides. Probably going to have 10 on each side. And look how big and fat he is. And he got to chasing girls, and hopefully, we have those genetics and some baby fawns running around here on Twin Eagle Ranch. You can see right there, that side is, is probably gonna be 10, 10 or 12 on each side. It's gonna be a, a 20 point deer. He is certainly my baby. I mean, he's certainly my baby. I just love him to death. Whitey's just gonna come up here to visit with me. There's you a great look at a great rack. I'm talking one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. It looks like 10 by 10 is what it looks like right there. And I think that the ends are gonna come out a little bit more. I think those ends are gonna have another split. So it'll probably be 11 and 12, 11 and 12 on each side if he goes and continues to grow, which we're hoping he will. He's a very, uh, very friendly buck. I could probably, if I had some food, might be able to get him eaten out of my hand. But he's beautiful. And you can see <clears throat> right there is Whitey. Whitey is just becoming a, a hoss. That's all Whitey, he's just becoming a hoss. How many of you deer hunters could actually walk that guy, watch that guy walk up to you in the woods and not be shaking all over? You'd probably have a hard time pulling your bow back or whatever he's getting ready to do. In fact, after seeing that guy walk up on you in the woods, you might have to have a change of underwear as a matter of fact. But he is just absolutely gorgeous. He's gonna have 10 or 12 points on each side. Uh, he's got all kinds of stuff going there. These two deer here, Whitey and Bazooka, were born right here in the pen, so they're at home. Whitey has been out in the woods all winter, but uh, we got him back in here, and he's, he's back in here for the, he's back in here for the, uh, for the summer and where he can eat all he wants. He's got a demand feeder, so he eats everything that he wants in here. And uh, just take a little look at him. I'm not a great camera guy, but you can just see what a huge, huge look at him walking with him. We fed these guys carrots when they were little. Chris did out of her hand. She'd come down there and feed her hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I see at least ten on that side. One, two, three, four, five, six, here, big boy. Come on, baby. Come on up here, Mrs. Whitey. Come on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He's ten, ten by eleven, I think, is what he is, or maybe ten by ten. And I don't know that the la it looks like the last tips are going to at least crab claw out there. They might even do more than a crab claw. Crab claw. There might be two out. Looks like it's going to have two out there on the end. But he is just a gorgeous specimen. You look how fat he is, he's just beautiful. And the reason that we let him back in the pen after the rut was he had gotten pretty skinny. Uh, they don't eat too much during the rut. Of course, he's not really, he wasn't accustomed to being out anyway. He's accustomed to having a demand feeder he could eat at all the time. Of course, out in the wild, he doesn't have that. Now, we have a feeder at the house, and we throw out a lot of feed at the house, uh, but, uh, but they still, where are you going, big boy? Look at that guy right there. <laughs> He is a gorgeous, he is a gorgeous thing. Yeah. Yeah, we're just praying that he stays, he stays great, he stays healthy. He does not get any gnats laying eggs in his nose. He does not get the blue tongue. Doesn't catch pneumonia, he doesn't get any of the deer diseases. And, uh, you know, actually, actually Whitey got sick. We let him out last fall to breed outside, which he did. So some of the bucks you see 
running around outside some of the little baby bucks, you know, are going to belong to him, I believe. And uh, we may have something like him uh, next spring when they have their first real horns. They're all just five and six months old right now, so they're not even going to have anything but little nubbins. But uh, you might see this time next year some deer like him running around on the ranch, which is what the deal is. And, uh, Whitey was born here at the ranch. We turned him loose last fall. And after we turned him loose, he got sick. He got really bad sick. He lost a lot of weight. He was looking bad. Oh, he was kind of thinking about the girls right there. Yes, he is. I have no competition. I'm the bull of the woods. He's going to trail a little bit there. You can't lose right here, guy. <laughs> but, uh, but he... Uh, I gave him a shot two or three different times. The third time that I got up to him, tried to give him a shot, uh, he actually jumped up and run off. So he must have been a lot better than I ever get close enough to get him that third shot. But he hung around the house a lot. He was uh, with a lot of does and probably should have had a, a really good rut last fall. He's going to have a good rut this fall as if he'll stay alive. He's a beautiful, big, healthy deer, just as healthy as he can be, you know, and the, the other deer were also. But uh, I see nothing at all wrong with that deer. He's just a big, big, it's his second horns. Uh, he's actually a two, two and a half year old deer, two year old deer, they call him. A two year old deer. You can see that Whitey has rubbed his horns on a lot of those trees right there. Uh, I'm in the pen with him. He's been just really, 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 really docile here this the last few days. And uh, real, you know, I, I don't know, he just, he just not been aggressive at all. I'll zoom in on him, you can take a look at him laying there. Just absolutely incredible looking deer. And uh, he's not been aggressive, he's really not paid a whole lot of attention to me when I've been in here. Uh, I, you still gotta be careful, I know several of you have been saying, Jimmy, stay out of that pen with that deer. Look at those big rubs there on those trees. Isn't that something? And that's something, that's Whitey that's done that. And you can look, he's just a magnificent specimen. I don't know if you get tired of looking at him. I guess you can. You can switch to another YouTube channel, watch it for a while, come back and watch this later. But I never get tired of looking at a magnificent animal like that right there. He is just a, a rare, uh, a rare big, big deer. And you can look at his girls over here. Just look how fat they are. They're just beautiful, beautiful girls. They got all the Southbridge deer feed they want to eat. They're big, fat things. And uh, hopefully he's uh, been loving on some of them. Uh, I like to look and see like that one right there and that one right there that looks like that they've got uh, some marks up on their, their back where he's probably he's probably been participating in the rut with those two girls right there. And uh, actually a deer running is a pretty rough process to be honest with you. But uh, but but you know the, hopefully that that'll be two or three more little whiteies right there uh, in those two does right there. And I have moved now quite a bit closer to Whitey. And you can see he's still not too concerned about me. Some of y'all have been asking about how many points we have on those deer there. I'm kind of thinking we have about 22. Some of y'all can obviously uh, stop your computers and, and count each side there and kind of give me a little bit better indication, I believe. But I'm kind of thinking about 22. It seems like I counted them once there. Uh, I sure hope that, uh, that he makes it. I'd like to see him at five, six, seven years old. 300 pounds and no telling what might be on the top of his head. It's just difficult to, uh, with that deer, was born here in the pen, so he's an Oklahoma deer, but he's from uh, Iowa jeans, and he's just a giant, big, beautiful buck, and he's really not too concerned about me at all. I'm pretty doggone close to him. Got my new uh, iPhone 13 Plus, and I've got nine times zoom, so I don't not, you know, I can zoom in a little bit closer from a little bit further distance, but I'm still only about 30 yards from him me in here. I hope not. I'm not too awfully far from a tree. I'll get a tree in between him and me, but he's just not, he's just not very aggressive at all. Is that a little horn growing out of his head there on that side? I believe it is. Right at the bottom of his right side antlers, he's got a little horn growing out there. Nice camera work, Jimmy. Sorry about that, guys. I'm not a camel person. I'm just a country fisherman. But look how beautiful he is. Now you're gonna go up there and get me a little drink. Then I might see if any of these girls are interested in fooling around with the biggest specimen on the whole ranch. I mean, he has become king of the hill. 
keep in mind that is only his second horn he's a two year old deer so he is really really a prize he got very very sick last fall when we let him outside and I had to hunt him down and give him a shot of medicine about three different times made him through his illness and, and he's uh, back up and going he's got all four fins he can go in here so he's going to go over there in the other one for a while you can see that this is where the majority of the ladies are and uh, whitey come over to see the ladies now another thing this pen here was shut off for a while and i put down uh, some rye grass watered it a little bit and we got just a little bit of rain on it not much and so we got rye grass going over here, and of course that's what these deer are over here feeding on is that rye grass. They'll actually have it nipped down pretty pretty close. You see that one doe's not paying any attention to Whitey. She just